guys, it's Tiffany. Welcome to my basement, AKA the candle factory. Here is where we do the labeling of the candles, assembling the boxes and shipping out all of your orders. So I'm gonna take you through what it's like to make a typical order. Our candles are made by an all female team. So all the candles that I send out are touched by um, human hands. They are hand poured. This is not made in a factory somewhere. There are people actually with big vats of melted wax, which we then add essential oils to. And that makes each of our 18 cents of aromasthesia candles. Today I'm labeling ketamine because that is a fan favorite. We always seem to be running out of stock of this one. So ketamine is um, a drug that we use in anesthesia for sedation. It also has um, pain relieving properties. And the candle that I named ketamine smells like pumpkin spice. These are our big label machines and each candle has a front label and a back label. So this is where I will sit and listen to some music and just kind of zone out. It's actually kind of therapeutic um, labeling candles. So I do the back one first and then we get the front one and every candle has its own wave and color. We put that one on and then most importantly, per my lawyer, we have to put this warning label on the bottom of each candle. This is boring, but then this is important. Never leave a candle burning unattended. Candles should always be placed away from flammable materials. Keep out of reach of children and pets. Keep wick trimmed to one eighth of an inch to prevent smoke and soot build up. Burn only on stable and heat resistant surfaces. Do not burn for more than three hours at a time. Do not move the candle while lit. Discontinue use when half an inch of wax remains. Failure to follow these instructions may result in injury or property damage. Enjoy. My lawyer made me do all that. So that is la ketamine candle for humans who need a hug. Who doesn't need a hug? The active ingredient is the feeling you have after a hot stone massage. Oh, that feels nice. Indications for use. You threw out your back at the gym trying to impress someone. You've had a long day and just need an hour to yourself. Or you have a case of the winter blues. Do not use if you hate pumpkin spice lattes. Don't use if you don't want your guests to come over and ask, what smells so good? And do not use if you like having a feeling of lassitude and being referred to as spacey. When using this product, you might bake a pumpkin, pecan, or apple pie, or all three if you're an overachiever. Notice your back pain starting to light up. That's good. Or you may feel like you've just attended a weekend meditation retreat. This candle smells like pumpkin, cinnamon, apple, vanilla, with a hint of plaid pajama fueled dreams. And this is one of my top sellers. Probably I would say my number two seller out of all 18 cents. So I am constantly relabeling this. And then we put it inside Le Box, which I had specially made with an insert, which was uh, engineered about 15 different times um, to prevent our candle from breaking. Apparently the shimping companies like to use my candle boxes as soccer balls. So now that the candle is packaged, I'm gonna show you guys how I get it ready to be shipped out. Okay, now that we have our assembled ketamine candle, we want to put a sticker on the top of it so that our customers know which candle they are getting because a lot of our customers, I, I think most of my customers are ordering at least two or more candles. So we put a nice ketamine sticker on the top of that one and then I make the outer shipping box. So the outer shipping box is sturdy, but not very pretty. We lay our candles inside like this. And then I discovered the trick to not having any candle breakage is that we want as little movement as possible. Then I take tissue paper and basically any gap that exists in the box, since the boxes that we get don't exactly fit the dimensions of our candles, we just stuff it with tissue paper. My very own special custom tissue paper. 
then we get our customer's invoice and put it in there. For gift orders, we do not put the invoice on there so that your gift recipient does not know how much you paid for their gift. And then I have my handy dandy label tape. Lay that across the top. Make sure that it's nice and sticky. Take our mailing label, stick it on. We always add a sticker that says, fragile, handle with care. And there you have it. This is going to go out to a special customer. We ship almost every single day of the week. We try to get our customers their orders from the date that the order comes in. We try to get it to them within a week. Hey you guys, come to my stock room with me. Welcome to my stock room. We are actually in a storage space underneath the stairs. And it's perfect for me because look, I don't even have to duck. My husband, when he comes in here to help me lift things, he's like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna bump my head. And I'm like, oh, I feel just fine. So this is where we keep the back stock of candles. Right now we are running low because they just had a sale. And so the candles were flying off the shelves. Um, but the candles are categorized alphabetically. And I try at any given time to have 10 or 20 candles in back stock. But as you can see, some of the scents are running pretty low. Um, one of my favorites is midazolam. It smells um, like coconut and bourbon. It has a certain warmth to it. And I found that um, men really like this candle because some of the more floral or fruity scents um, tend to be um, liked by women more, but midazolam I feel like the men like as well. So um, this is the stock room. We now have 18 scents and I try to keep at least 10 of each candle in stock at all times. So I have, as you can do the math, at least 180 candles down here at any given time, usually more, which is why I call this the candle factory. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for coming on a tour of the candle factory. As you can see, we do all our stuff in-house from labeling to making boxes to shipping. We even have these multi-pack boxes. This is a six-pack box. It comes in this really cool um, gift box. We get a lot of orders for these because people want to try all the different scents or they want to give these as gifts. Um, we even have subscriptions available where you can get a different box every six weeks or um, two months, depending on your preference. So if you guys want to know more about the scents, you can check out the link in the description below and I'll explain a little bit more about the scents. Thank you again for coming to visit, but I got to get these orders out, so I have to go. Bye.